Okay, for those of you who read the Silver Screen Dynatrack Dana 60 and four-wheel and off-road magazine, I said the Dana 60 we're replacing the Dana 44 with is better in every way except one. Wait. This Dana 60 here weighs more than the Dana 44 replaced. And yeah, I do lose some ground clearance, but I'm able to run taller tires to compensate for it. Or I had the option of going with one of Dynatrack's high clearance cut Dana 60 housings. That actually gets you more ground clearance than a Dana 44. Then you got the big beefy Dana 60 U joints. So I do have some extra weight up here. I'm guessing like somewhere around 100, 150 pounds over the Dana 44. There are things I could do to lighten up the front end if I really care. Fiberglass front clip, aluminum cylinder heads. I don't because that's all big money. With a totally custom axle like this, uh, you can, I had it made to my specifications. Jim asked me what I wanted, I told him, and he built it that way. So things I had to do to get it in the vehicle were relatively minor. I am going to have to shorten the drive shaft a little because it's a high pinion and the pinion's a little longer than the name 44 that was in it. Other things are I might have to build new shock hoops because these ones are a little uh, low with the, the ranchos I'm using here. But that's pretty much it. We had to fab some brake lines. Other than that, it just bolted right in, steering hooked up, and it drives down the road beautifully. Before I'd have to worry, oh, is that shaft going to bust if I give it too much power going up that rock, or was oh, this thing undercut at all? But now it's just, you know, oh, she didn't want to go, I just lay into the throttle. It ain't going to break nothing. Shut off the old noggin. Let's go along for the ride. 